travels the world and puts his life at risk handling dangerous animals as part of his job hosting National Geographic Explorer, which airs its year-end special on Christmas night on CNBC. Please welcome Boyd Matson. Wave to the crowd. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Yeah. That's well, great. Those are terrific. To show Buster What's going room? on down here? <laughs> <laughs> What's going around up here? Yeah, all right. Now, this is jewelry for Christmas. Yeah, that's yeah. very nice. Yeah. Anything wanna... we need to know about these? What's that? You want to take a uh, baby Yeah, I'll here? take this one, sure. Why not? Come on. This is a... Uh... Lay it on me, baby! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh. Okay, this is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, that's great. Why don't... Don't worry. We sit down. <laughs> wow. Now, of course, these are uh, pythons. That's a, uh, whoa. That's a uh, Burmese albino, albino Burmese python. They are not venomous. Of course, they are constrictors, so. What are you doing down there? Well, here's the problem. Yeah, I, they, are not, they, they are not poisonous. You no. remove the poison. They're, they're constrictors, so they squeeze stuff to death. And so, so the place you so don't. So let's wrap them around my neck, boy. <laughs> And, uh, oh, Boyd. But they only eat, uh, one that size eats about every uh, two weeks. And Right. Wait, I can't remember. I've been on the road. Is it two oh, or three weeks? Oh, Boyd. <laughs> and they eat only small animals. Boyd, small it's hissing. Mammals, Listen, do you children. hear the hissing? Oh, yeah. Oh, it stopped when I put up the microphone. It's shy. <laughs> well, that means that, yeah, they hiss once in a while. These you things, see this the sound coming out there? It's tasting the air to see if there's any uh, prey around that it's interested in snacking on. Right. Because they have a very poor eyesight, no hearing, and uh, but they sense the heat and they can... Uh, Boy, you're acting like a weirdo. <laughs> <taste the air. laughs> These I mean, are... I'm sorry, we're just holding the snake going like, and they often... <laughs> Well, what's that all about, Boyd? Well, I was just seeing if I could taste the air, you too, ever just, but... you and the snake get together, put on a little Barry White, and, uh... <laughs> now, Boyd, uh, you, know, you were it... bitten recently, is that well, right? Well, that's the thing, and by one of these pythons, too. We were, uh, we're doing a snake special, and these snakes are all in our show coming up in January. But we were doing a little scene where we had some on the dashboard of the car. Right. Just like this, and... And we had a camera on the dashboard, and I was trying to drive with two pythons and a king snake. Wait a minute, let's back up a little. You were trying to do a snake segment, so you put them on the dashboard of a car and shot it while you were driving. There was a flaw in that plan, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think right up there with let's drape the constrictor around the host's neck. But it goes great with your suit. I'm having trouble breathing, but anyway. Do you want any help? No, that's okay. okay. Let's just let it go. So... <laughs> They were crawling around like this on the dashboard, but the snakes kept getting off the dashboard and going down around the steering wheel, then around the gear shift, and so I couldn't drive. And, and while pull, trying to pull them out, I got a little aggressive, and they bit me a couple of times. But <laughs> <laughs> the fun... I'm sorry. I find that really amusing. <laughs> the Mostly because it happened to you and yes. not to me. <laughs> um, that head. Okay. What's the matter? You're okay. Yeah, the... I was just checking where the head was. But, uh, yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, we... the fun part, though, is when you watch while you're driving at the other cars, uh -huh. because they're kind of driving like this, looking over. Right, while well, you're you... making out with a snake yeah, on the dashboard. Yeah. Boyd, um, before I pass out, uh, <laughs> we have a clip from your Christmas show that I want to show everybody. I actually saw this on TV, and I said, let's get a clip of this. We gotta show this to America, and then you explain what the hell's going on. This explains the level of professionalism on your program. Let's show. Part of Daryl's job is training emergency rescue personnel on how to treat victims of these things. In particular, the Africanized honeybee, or as it's commonly known, the killer bee. That species made its appearance in Texas about a decade ago, moving up from South America, where it was part of an experiment gone terribly wrong. What the hell is going on? <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> Were you even aware that chaos was breaking out behind you? I had no idea what was going on behind me. First of all, they wrapped him up in a blanket and did what with him? They were spraying soapy water first, which you would use to kill the bees. Or just to give them a nice bath, probably. Well, he told me he was a bee expert, and he had dumped some on me, and after I looked in the monitor and saw what had happened, that's when I wanted to see the credentials, because right. I thought those were actually guys from the... Uh, from the local asylum who had come to take him back. And he was just pretending to be a bee expert. Right. <laughs> wow, well, great show you're running there, Boyd. Uh -huh. 
check the credentials first. It's like when a guy flashes the badge. Let me see. Let me look. Let's at that see closely. the badge. Yeah. Uh, well, National Geographic's Best of Explorer airs Christmas night at eight o'clock on CNBC. Boyd Matson, everybody. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, we'll be right back. Stick around. Everybody, that is our show of the night. I do want to thank all my guests, Boyd Matson. Thank you very much for being here and for bringing. Our thanks to Buster Rhymes for coming here. Our thanks to Mr. Jerry Springer for joining us. Max Weinberg, the Max Weinberg Seven. Stay tuned for later, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Tom Hanks.